The first step for running in a new die ring is to prepare a run-in mix, which is used as a grinding paste to smooth inside the drilled holes of the ring. Because most die rings are either hand or CNC drilled, holes in the rings tend to mirror uneven drill bit grooves. The aim of running in the die ring is to even out these holes to ensure that the pelleting chamber has no space for material to build up and block the ring and the pelletizing process. The mixture that we prescribe has the same effect as sandpaper and oil and comprises a run-in mix of 20 kilograms of well-dried, very fine plaster sand with no impurities, an additional 25% cooking oil, which is non-toxic to animals, and 15% whole maize kernels. Note that additional oil and maize should be added as the blend is repeatedly fed through the pelletizing machine. The second step for running in a new die ring is to correctly set the die ring and rollers up in order to prevent blockages with a run-in mixture. Here, machine operators release the pelletizing machine's fastening brackets before opening the front hinged housing. First, the die ring is installed with bolts, securely fastening it to the pelletizing machine. Then, the rollers are correctly installed with set blocks to ensure correct alignment. An experienced operator can easily hear when the die ring and rollers are correctly aligned and running properly. A more detailed instruction video on how to set up the rollers is also available in this instruction series. The next step is to feed the run-in mix through the pelletizing machine until the die ring has been sufficiently run in. Close the pelletizing machine and begin running the machine as if you were about to run a standard pelletizing mix. Instead, gently add the run-in mix into the pelletizing machine be careful not to add too much mixture at one time. Keep slowly feeding the pelletizing machine until a finely ground mixture falls into the collection area. Slowly increase the amount of run-in mixture that is fed into the machine, taking care not to feed too much at one time or a blockage may occur. Should such a blockage occur, feed pure maize into the machine in an attempt to clear the die ring and then add the mixture again until an even throughput is achieved. Work through all of the run-in mix and then reuse the already ground mixture over two or three cycles. When pellets start forming, the mixture will already be very fine and most of the maize will be ground up. In addition, the mixture will also be much drier. At this point, stop adding maize or oil to the mixture. The goal of the running in process is not to form pellets, but rather to encourage throughput and to ready the dye for later use. The process of refeeding the run-in mixture through the pelletizing machine can come to an end after approximately 30 minutes of runtime. Stop feeding the mixture into the machine and flush it with maize instead. Continue flushing the pelletizing machine with maize until all sand stops being ejected into the collection area. Then introduce a maize and lucerne roughage mixture slowly, initially mostly comprising maize and increasing with lucerne content with the aim of reaching roughly 70% lucerne and 30% maize. When pellets start forming, continue for another 15 minutes to achieve a constant throughput. Stop by flushing the machine with only pure maize. It's important to note that one should never leave a die ring with run-in mixture blocking its pelletizing holes. Once the die ring cools down, that blockage will set rock hard. Always flush your pelletizing machine with pure maize and if there are still blocked holes, remove the die ring and drill the holes clear with an appropriately sized drill bit as a last resort if required. At this point, it's also important to note the differences between stainless and mild steel die rings. Some imported and typically expensive stainless steel die rings may have been manufactured with gun drilling technology. If this is the case, then such a die may not require a running in process to be performed. By contrast, all mild steel dies are required to be run in prior to pellet production. Also, while stainless steel dies do offer a more even temperature profile and generally last longer, they do not always make economic sense when compared with more cost-effective, case-hardened mild steel die rings.